Feral Khan Mercenary Squad has a new assignment. They must learn how to combine and form Feral Rex. The warrior stands united and ready to fight. Feral Rex proves why he is the king of the predators, the Predaking. Hello, this is Santa out here, and welcome back for the final time to Feral Rex Week. We are here, we are at the end of the week, day seven where we'll finally be taking a look at the massive combiner, Feral Rex, also known as Predaking. Now, in order to do this, there is two combinations possible with this guy. First of all, there is the base Feral Rex combination, which is made with these five, minus Felisaber. This combination will most resemble the original Transformers Predaking, because here we have Razor Claw, Dive Bomb, Headstrong, Rampage, and Tantrum. And in order for this combination to work, you don't need Felisaber. He comes in later. So, in order to combine this guy, we're going to need to break it down to each individual component as each of these have to transform into a mode. And I do want to state this. The original Predator King was not a Scramble City combiner, and neither are these guys. Two become the legs, two become the arms, one becomes the torso. That is it. But, in order to pull this off, we're going to have to go through a little bit of time-lapse transformation with each of these guys to become Feral Rex. Now we have five limbs instead of five robots, let's combine these together. First of all, I will state, this is the official leg placement for Bovis and Fortis. I'm going to swap it, and you'll see that in the next segment why. The connection joints are so, so sturdy. They are a universal combiner peg type system between the legs and arms. And holy crap, the camera is not tall enough for this, is it? Uh, let's, let's adjust a bit. There we go. And here we are with Predaking, who just looks awesome as Feral Rex. Or is that the other way around? I don't really care at this point. This thing is quite impressive. As you can see, Feral Rex here is absolutely massive. Knowing how large his individual components are, it's, it's just impressive to see this all together. And he is super sturdy, because I can shake my review set and he won't fall. Um, he actually has some of the sturdiest combiner uh, structure to him that I've ever seen. And here he is, guys. This is Feral Rex. So, to top off the start of what I want to talk about with this guy, I love the colors. The colors are a nice orange and yellow mix. You notice that we have an orange arm and actually what's primarily a black arm with an orange and yellow leg. See how the orange matches? That's why I wanted Bobus on this side. Um, you can do a cross uh, color thing, but I kind of like the orange and what will be the yellow. And this really invokes Predaking so, so well. The head sculpt in particular is just fantastic at looking like Predaking. I don't want to move this guy too much because he is gigantic. Uh, the wings here are solidly attached with another one of those combiner pegs, um, which works really really well. His legs are are the beefy bovis and fortis to hold him down and he just looks really cool. He's got a bit of a lean going on here. You can actually use the uh, there's the clips that are used to attach the gun feet to the back of bovis can be used to stabilize him a bit. So you can see this guy is just super impressive. And in order to properly show off the size of this guy let's bring in a couple size comparisons. First up, here he is next to a modern Hasbro combiner, Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Superion. And here he is next to Deluxe King of Braves Gal Gygar, which you can see they have a lot of similarities in design. So as you can see, this guy is massive. This is one of the largest uh, Takara robots I own, and 
Superior on here is no slouch. He is he is quite tall. He's the tallest of the Combiner Wars combiners. And yet Predaking here is standing above them all, which is super cool. The only thing that I've seen so far, like combiner wise, to outscale him is Combiner Wars Devastator. And I'm kinda okay with that. I think construction vehicles could be larger than uh predatory beasts. Now in terms of functionality, he is super articulated. And I mean it, he has a ton of joints in him, and I want to show that off best I can. First, let's talk about the head, because the head is up there. Hold on a second. So up at the head here, you can see we got the two cannons from uh, Leo Ducks. They do extend now, and they can be folded away if you'd like, but they are a nice uh, vac metal black, which is pretty cool. But the head sculpt here is what I want to talk about, as it looks so much like Predaking. It's also got a ball joint, and if you press the button on the back when you have the right batteries inserted, you get a light so it can stare you down, uh, which is really, really cool. The batteries are a specific type. You'll need to do a little research because I can't remember exactly what is in there, um, but you just insert them in the back. They're button cell batteries, and that way you get that light. Uh, so you have, you know, the visor looks good with the, the blackish red, then you add the light, and it just looks even better, which is just the coolest. On the chest, of course, you got the lion with its mane fully uh, in place. And I did not mention this during the Leodux review, but the main pieces are connected onto uh, metal ball joints. Like the, the ball itself is actually metal, which is super cool. I love the way that the animal heads are all along here. You get the, the lion and the tiger, the eagle, and then down here you have the bull and the rhino. And you can see all the animal heads, which is pretty nice. Now the one thing is is that you can kind of see Tigress's head here if you don't have this slid up enough, so there's a slight issue. Other than that, it looks great. Now in terms of articulation, we mentioned the ball joint neck. He's got uh, 360 shoulders. Let's move the, the wing out of the way for this. He's got 360 ratcheted shoulders here. He's got outward shoulder movement on a heavy ratchet. All these are heavy ratchets. You have a, a bicep swivel here. You have an elbow bend. You can also turn the arms this way if you'd like to make them beefier. Uh, this piece does move out of the way on the wrist joint here. Actually, I'll show it on this side because talons, uh, talons kind of get in the way. Uh, the wrist joint turns. You have a ball joint thumb with a single joint here. You have two jointed fingers here, so he's fully articulated hands, as well as a massive waist joint, a combiner with a waist joint. Holy crap, that's cool. His, the wings are the same posability as Talon, except these things can now be moved because I like to have these splayed out for Predaking. And then the second half of him, it features outward hip movement, forward hip movement with these panels moving, backward hip movement, a thigh swivel, plus a knee ratchet and a rotation there as well. And check this out, ball jointed ankle. There's a stem connection that goes in there so that you actually have a ball jointed ankle and a toe joint which is just super cool. And those friction pads that were included with Fellow Saber really, really help with this guy uh, standing straight like this. Which, look at that, he stands pretty well. Now as an optional thing, the little pegs here uh, that are on the side that hold the legs into place can actually fit the tiny arm filler weapons. So you can actually, and I like to do this, I like to plug in the, the missile pods onto Bovis. If I can actually see where the hole is to, to put it there. There we go. And the tri-barreled guns on to Fortis. It just kind of adds a little bit. It fills in that hole and it gives it that clean look, which the whole idea of the forearm filler weapons to begin with was to cover any gaps. And this just kind of fills in that detail really nicely, which I, I think is awesome. So as you guys can tell, this, this, this Predator King is impressive. Um, it is so cool having combiners this articulate and this stable. Like this guy, you can shake, and he just kind of balances himself out. Like if you bump him, like it takes a lot to knock him over, but it's like he's very stable. Like if you if you're, you bump your desk wrong and he shakes a little bit, he kind of shakes and then falls back into place. Really, really nice, especially with how much he costs. Because this is about five hundred dollars or so, especially with shipping. It's at least five hundred or more. Um, it is an expensive piece, but just with the craftsmanship and the way it's done. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth, um, especially with how awesome this looks and how impressive it is. What's also impressive is, like I said, all the uh, you know all the weapon bits had a place to go in beast mode and robot mode. Well, they have a place to go in combined mode as well, 
as every gun and every sword that they came with combines to form Predaking's sword and Predaking's gun. So, let's take a look first at his concussion cannon, Feral Rex mode. So here is the concussion cannon. It has every single weapon, uh, every single gun weapon is combined into this. So you got Bovis's two guns, Tigris's two guns, the sniper rifle, uh, Leoduxus cannon, and Fortis's two guns. And using a couple pair of tabs here, it does peg on to either Tigris, Tigris or Talon or Felisaber. And basically, it goes on. It looks really nice. Now, unless you have the underslung gun combination, you will have an issue of this getting in the way. But it does look really, really nice and super impressive having this giant cannon on his arm. But that's not the most impressive weapon he has, as all their melee weapons, all the swords, become another sword. The Oppenheimer Claymore. Here it is, the Oppenheimer Claymore Sword. Oh man, is this thing impressive. So, Leo Dux's giant cleavers split and attach here and make the main section and this handle piece, which is this two tail pieces and the boosters, make that, plus all the other weapons in between. It looks super cool. And as you can see, there are several pegs here. And there are several pegs in his hand, and this allows for him to hold it and wrap his fingers around it and never let it go. Because why would you want to get rid of a sword that cool? As you can see, the thing is absolutely massive. Um, like, holy crap, I think it's just about as tall as him or a little taller. Which I think it's a little taller. And he can hold it. He can hold it quite well. Um, in fact, he can actually, like, hold it without joints falling apart, which is great. Um, I haven't seen a Transformer with a sword that big actually pull it off, especially with how heavy this is, all the joints in his arms support it, which is fantastic. Unless you bump it like that, like me, because I'm an idiot sometimes. Anyways, there you go. There is Feral Rex in his basic configuration. Now, like I said, this guy has another mode, and this mode requires somebody else and that guy is Fella Saber. So how this works is that in order to achieve a more symmetrical look, having you know two tiger limbs and two bovine limbs, I guess, um, having two of the same mold for each limb, that's why Fella Saber exists. So Fella Saber here will replace Talon as the arm. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Say hello to Ultimate Feral Rex, the ultimate Predaking with Mastermind's new character, Fellow Saber. And now you can probably see why I wanted Fortis over here, because now we have orange, orange, yellow, yellow, instead of orange, orange, yellow, yellow. So if you like that cross design, I personally like the one color to each side kind of thing. Now, you're probably asking, what happened to Fellow Saber's gun? Well, it, uh, it uh, has an ability here. They actually engineered it so that and by engineered it, I mean they, you know, have pegs here. So that it can actually just connect to the bottom, the concussion cannon. Plus with this gauntlet up here, all his parts are right there. The only things left behind are the forearm fillers. But, those aren't technically part of the parts assortment for these guys. So, I gotta say, I'm super impressed at a combiner that can have every single piece of, of its components having a specific place to go. And that's what's super impressive about the set, is that they all have, you know, these parts, but they all can store them in their beast mode, robot mode, you know, combined mode, whatever. Now, the way this works, and this is something I do want to mention, with Ultimate Feral Rex, he is a little back heavy, and I say a little back heavy because um, there's a whole talon back there. Like, there's a whole talon back there. Like, basically what happened is that to get the symmetrical look here, you had to, you know, put Talon somewhere, so he became a backpack, which is actually kind of interesting. He's got a combiner port in his chest that just plugs in back there, and he stays on really solid. Like, he is he is not moving uh, without a lot of force, and he is super solid back there. And part of the reason why they included a friction kit with Fellow Saber was to help with this mode, because, well, holy crap, he's gotten a little back heavy. 
Now, helping with the little tabs to put behind the combiner heel so they don't fall is also very good. But overall, this is the completed approximately 600 or so dollars of Feral Rex in his ultimate mode, or perfect mode. I've heard perfect Feral Rex as well. Um, so a few buzzwords there, but I gotta say, I am super happy with this guy. He looks fantastic. He's incredibly articulated. He's super tall. He is just a beast of a figure. He stands out on a shelf being so large and also, you know, carrying this huge sword. I just really, really like this figure so much. I followed this project for like the two years between when it was revealed to when it all came out. And I'm just so happy with the final result. I Honestly, if Hasbro makes a Combiner Wars Predaking, I'm not sure if I'll pick it up or not. As much as I love Predaking, nothing's going to top this for me. This is this is the preferred Predaking for me. I think it's the best, and I can highly recommend it to fans of Predaking out there, barring the fact that you have the money. For me, it was a little easier because, while well, you had Bovis come out in, a, in September 2013, then Fortis in November 2013, then Leo Ducks in March 2014, and then Talon and Tigers dropped both in September of 2014, and then Fell Saber in February of 2015. So it was kind of spaced out a bit, except for those two guys, but that was because delays um, on the shipment for uh, Talon to Big Bad Toy Store. But the whole point was that when you're collecting these guys, when they first came out, they were scheduled like one a month, which was going to be insane, but I knew I was going to try to figure out how to do it. And then it spaced out a bit with the delays, so it worked out well. But overall, the delays were good because we got some things redesigned. This was added, which is just cool. And overall, I'm just I'm really pleased with the final product. This is the most solid set of combining robots I've ever owned. Um, it tops the solidity of Super Sentai Mecha. And they're fully articulated individual components, fully articulated combined mode. This is definitely something that is going to be a centerpiece of my Transformers collection. And I don't think anything's going to top it anytime soon. This is just the coolest thing. And that's why I wanted to highlight it over the course of a week. If I tried to do all six of these guys, plus the combined mode in one video, it would have been a very long video, and I wouldn't have been able to highlight the individual qualities of the Feral Cons. They made each and every component its own figure, a fully-fledged figure that would be its own thing, that would be enjoyed, so that, you know, if you had to wait months between releases, hey, guess what? you have a really cool figure here. It doesn't have anything to combine with at the moment, but you have a really solid figure. Which means also, with the way that these guys have been stocked, which is pretty regularly, you could easily just pick up, you know, one at a time. If you want to space out like one a month or so, you could probably do that, and you can have an enjoyable experience. You don't need to have them all at once, because the best part is the combined mode, but the individual components themselves really stand out as being fantastic figures, which is something I can't say for Combiner Wars. Combiner Wars, I feel like I'll mess around with the deluxe, Deluxes and Voyager for a while, but then it'll go into combined mode and it'll kind of stay there. There's a, a lot of the individual modes have less appeal to them. There's less you can do with them. These guys are fully articulated um, individual robots, and there's a universal articulation scheme throughout the line, including the combined mode, which I think is also very impressive. This thing is a feat of engineering. Mastermind Creations did a great job. If they'll do another combiner, I'm sure they're going to wait a bit. Uh, they're working on female Autobots um, and some... I think they're they're moving on to maybe another six changer, but the idea is that this is their big combiner project. There probably won't be one for a while because this was a big undertaking for them. And I gotta say, I support Mastermind. They do some great work and this is my favorite thing they've done. And honestly, is my favorite combining robot that I own, and I own a lot of those. So, that is all for Feral Rex Week. Thank you all for sticking around through the whole week. If you did see all seven videos, congratulations. Um, that was a lot of videos, I know, but it was necessary in order to review this guy, and I didn't want to space it out over seven weeks, um, as I think that would get a little tiresome. So, I hope you all enjoyed this review, um, in this review week, and stay tuned as I have more Transformers reviews planned, especially with Combiner Wars happening some special stuff happening with that, and more Power Rangers, more Super Sentai, more Kamen Rider, more everything here on Sandat 12. There you go. That is Feral Rex. So be sure to check out HeroTaki.com for all your Transformers news and more. And Tyson's sound saying, goodbye.